please welcome a new Make Weekly video. Please like and subscribe and please watch all of our videos and please subscribe to our channel. I'm Easton. I'm Cheryl. I'm Michelle. We're so glad to have you here today. Today is the day of our big giveaway. So stay tuned to the end and we're gonna share with you who that is. But for today's video, we thought we'd just do a little shopping and take you guys along. We went thrifting and we can't wait to share with you some of the great things that we found. So to start this day off, we thought we would grab a tea at this new place. It's called HTO. It is so great. If you guys have one of these in your area, check it out. We love the watermelon tea and one of my favorites is the coconut. So we grabbed a tea and now let's go thrift. I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite things to look at is I always look at the mugs because I'm on the hunt constantly for a Santa mug, but you just never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you can find the most beautiful restaurant wear mugs. And then another thing that I'm always looking at are the platters. I love that. I love creamers and my eye is still drawn to glass. There was a long time I remember shopping with my mother and we'd go thrifting and she'd always look at the glass. And I don't know if that just comes with age. You just, I don't know, I'm drawn to the glass. I, I don't buy a lot of it, but I do love looking at it. I think it is all so pretty. Another thing that's great to look at right now is be looking out for your holiday decor. Because if you can ever find it at the thrift store at a great price, pick it up because it will definitely save you money when your season is upon you. I thought they had a few really good things in the Christmas section this time, but I didn't get anything. But I will show you at the end of this what I did get that is very seasonal and it's so wonderful. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I did love this celluloid boot. I thought it was so great, but I didn't get it. And I actually found another one later in the thrift store. That was a really great thing. And then here are some plates and they're actually brand new. Loved those too. So now we're gonna run into Goodwill and I spotted this little I guess it's a teapot. And I didn't know if this was false graph or not. I did look at it. I couldn't really tell underneath if it was marked. So you guys have to let me know if that's what it is. I don't collect that, but I know a lot of people that, that do. And I thought it was really pretty. And then of course I had to pick this leaf up. I know my mother has one of these, so it's probably somewhere, somewhere. And I, it just reminded me of my childhood, but if you know me, you know I love white dishes, anything white pottery, so I'm constantly looking at it. I'm always looking for ironstone, so that's another great thing to look at when you're out thrifting. So when I spotted this apple design, I knew immediately that this was probably along the lines of the desert rose dishes that my mother collected when she was young. And yes, it is. I think this is a newer piece, but um, that was a really good buy for that. And then I was looking and down below in this little 
container, I spotted, I'm pretty sure this is false graph right here, a whole set. And this set, I think, was like $19.99, close to $20. Yeah, $19.99, $20. But I thought it was really pretty. Like I said, I don't collect that, but I thought it was a really pretty set. How does that work, e? Okay, so what you're supposed to do is put the car, put, put the car inside there, lock it up, twist this nozzle a couple times, and then open where the car is. That's crazy, isn't it? Sometimes it needs a little push. Moving on to the last thrift store that we stopped at, I really like this one as well. And I know these look like Spode, but I don't believe that they are, but they were so cute. And I love creamers. I'm always picking them up and looking at them. A lot of them aren't old, but they're still so fun. So if you're starting a collection and you can't find old pieces, you can always add newer ones if the price is right. I have done that and I'm slowly, when I find the older ones, then I'm able to let the newer ones go. But it's so much fun to start a collection. Here's another piece of false graph I found. I mean, I think it was the day for that today. I usually don't see much of it. But it was a fun thrifting trip for sure. Looking back, I wish I would have got this. I think it's so cute. It was $1.98. I know it's for tools, but I would have set it outside on a patio set with some flowers in it. That would have been so cute. And then I found a bigger one in this store as well. I would do the same thing with this one. I would just set my potted plants inside. That would be so adorable outside. But I left it as well. It was $6.98. Okay, so this is our thrift haul. I can't wait to share it with you. My sister found this really pretty lamp. It's so pretty. It kind of matches the designs in her kitchen cabinets. It was $19.96, and this store was having a bit of a sale, so we did get it a little bit cheaper, but I thought it was just so pretty. So I'm glad that she picked that up. I know it will look beautiful in her home. And then I spotted this little compote dish. I thought it was adorable. And when I turned it over, I saw that this is a piece from Pottery Barn. And it was only, I believe, 55 cents. So I thought that was a great score. It's not old, but I think it's really pretty. And I think it looked really pretty with a plant inside. Then I scored these gorgeous dishes. I collect these. They're Rose Point China. They're so beautiful. And I was so excited to add some more dishes to my collection. Then we spotted these beautiful pillows. And the pillows are not something that I ever usually buy, but I've watched a lot of thrifters. They say you can wash them. So my sister picked this set up. They were so nice. They looked brand new. Then she found this set with the feather inserts. And so she picked those up for Easton's room. So of course we will wash those before we use them, but they were such a great deal. These pillows were $4.79 each. So I think today was a day for spring decor. We found so much of it. And she found this beautiful little um, chicks in a basket for spring. It is so adorable. And it was only $3.89 at Goodwill. I thought this was absolutely precious. Then at a different thrift store, I came across these trees. Now I have some old ones actually for my Christmas decor, but these are springtime little trees and I thought they were so pretty. I'm sure you could use them in your Christmas decor if you wanted, but they were regularly $19.95. I got the, well actually she gave them both to me for $5.98 and then of course the store was having a sale so we actually got a little bit more off of that. 
but I thought these are so pretty there was no way I could pass those up. And then the best deal of the day, in my opinion, was this gorgeous rabbit. Is he not amazing? He was sitting high on a shelf. I spotted him from a distance. I couldn't get there quick enough to grab it. It's so cool. It's not old, but it's meant to look like a vintage uh, Easter basket. So cute. And this came from a high-end store that we have here in Oklahoma. It's called Pink Edsel. I guess they got rid of some of their decor because I qu found quite a bit of it in the store. But he is so amazing. He was marked $24.96. He was originally $79.95, but I did get him at a discounted price, so I was glad to grab him. So let me show you our finds that we styled. Here's the pillows my sister got after she washed them. They're on her couch. I think they're so pretty. I love the texture. And I think they look really great in her home. Here's the lantern. It's so, so pretty. She wanted to put it in the kitchen, but it's actually a little too tall to fit under her cabinets. But again, it's just a pretty addition to her home. And here I want to show you how I styled my Rose Point pottery dishes. They're, I think I call them china, but they're actually pottery pieces. And then here is this beautiful compote. And I wanted an angel hair vine to put inside a little plant, a, a live one. But of course, I couldn't find one for the video. So I was just showing you that I think it would look really pretty with some kind of greenery inside. And I love how this turned out. Okay, so the winner of our giveaway is Miss, Miss Jeannie Turner. Yay! Thank you to each and every one of you that entered. We appreciate you so very much. We couldn't be at this place without each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you so much. And we wish we could give all of you all stuff. Yes, we I do. You're we awesome. love each and every one of you and we read every comment and so many are so heartfelt and we appreciate you all so much so very much but Jeannie please contact us I will leave a link in my description where you can email me and then I can get your information and I will send you a little something special that we picked up just for you guys I love you and I hope you have a good spring and 4th of July and bye James 1.22 says, prove yourselves doers of the word and not merely hearers. You know what? God wants each of us to put into practice the principles that he's taught us. So has God called you to do something special? If he has, I pray that you will seek the Lord and do what he's called you to do. Guys, thank you for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you. We want to wish you a very happy 4th of July and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye friends.